So next we'll see about leomyoma. Leomyoma is a benign tumor originating from the smooth muscles of the uterus. So in the myometrium you have smooth muscles. So from there this leomyoma is going to arise and it is going to be the most common tumor in female. So mutations associated with leomyoma will be MED12 mutations and in leomyomas can either be submucosal as in here it is submucosal as in it is going to be protruding into the endometrial cavity or it could be in the muscle layer like called as an intramural um, fibroid. So, leomyomas are also called as fibroid or in a sub location. So, on the outer surface you can see this leomyoma. So, that is called as sub leomyomas. So, grossly these are going to be quite well circumscribed and they are going to have a pseudocapsule. So, this pseudocapsule is nothing but the compressed host tissue only. So, as it is growing slowly these benign tumors tend to compress the host tissue and they appear to form a pseudocapsule. Okay, and the uh, classical image of this uh, fibroid is it will have whirling. So, some kind of whirling appearance if you can appreciate in this image it is present. So, leomyomas are known to show whirling. So, microscopically these smooth muscles can form fascicles. So, long long fascicles of these smooth muscles are seen. Okay. So, these intersecting fascicles, uh, sweeping fascicles of smooth muscles are the characteristic feature of leomyomas. So, these leomyomas, when they grow up in size, they can undergo certain degenerative changes, especially hyaline degeneration wherein lots of pink material is going to be accumulated or it can undergo red degeneration. So, red degeneration is due to hemorrhage. So, hemorrhage usually happens usually in pregnant females. So, in pregnant females, because of this hemorrhage, the leomyomas appear to have a rapid growth. So, they suspect it to be a leomyosarcoma. So, it has, uh, it has turned into sarcoma, sarcoma. But as such, if you see on microscopy, it is going to have lots of hemorrhage only. So, red degeneration causes increase in size during pregnancy, which is kind of worrisome. So, when do you call it as a leomyosarcoma? So, leomyoma is a benign tumor while leomyosarcoma is a malignant tumor. So, whenever you perceive necrosis or atypia or increased mitosis that is more than 10 per 10 high power field, then you can label it as a leomyosarcoma in the uterus.